guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Cell Mabuhay. So today, I'm going to discuss to you how to wind thread in the bobbin and how to thread the upper and the lower part of the sewing machine. Okay, so to wind thread in our bobbin, first, we need to place the spool of thread in our uh, thread stand or what we call the on tray. Okay, then we're going to insert the thread in the first thread guide. Okay, and then going down here, second thread guide, and then you need to insert the thread between the two tension discs. There. You can see to it that it is inserted there. The next is you're going to get the bobbin and then place it here. Okay. And then you're going to wind manually the thread. Okay, for a few uh, rounds okay, and then press this one okay the trip latch okay, to lock it and then you're going to plug the machine okay plug the machine then after that you push the button on Okay, the next one is to press the clutch okay, to move the uh, pulley. Okay. There, as you can see, the bobbin now starts to wind. Okay, continue pressing the clutch okay, until such time that the bobbin will be evenly Okay, so in winding, see to it that it's not, it's evenly winded and okay, it's not too full. Okay, so after that, you may remove this one, okay, and then cut the thread dirt. Okay, and that's it. This is now the finished one. Now we are we are ready to insert the bobbin inside the bobbin case. So it, this one is the one that we placed thread while ago. Okay, so this is the bobbin case. This is the latch of the bobbin case. Okay, we're now ready to insert. Okay, so you're going to uh, have three to four inches uh, thread, length of thread hanging there. Okay, insert now. There, slide the, the thread into the slit and then slide again. Okay, bringing out the thread here. Okay, so that's it. And then the, the latch... When you're going to place it inside the rotary hook assembly later, the latch should face you. And this part here should be on top. Now we're going we are re now ready to insert it inside the rotary hook assembly. Here is the rotary hook assembly. Okay, insert now. And you need to push it. Now, in pushing, you need you need to produce a clicking sound. It means to say the bobbin and the bobbin case is already locked inside the rotary hook assembly. Okay. So that's how you're going to thread the lower part of the sewing machine. This 
time, we're going to thread now the upper part of the sewing machine. So from the cone stand, we insert our thread here in the first thread guide. There, going to this upper tension. Okay, insert again to the hole. Okay, to the thread eyelet. So, you're going to insert it downward. There, and then another one. Going down again. Then, the thread will go down here to the two tension DS of the thread tension assembly. Okay? There. See to it that the thread is properly inserted between the two discs. Then slide the thread on the next thread guide. There. Then, you bring it down here on the next thread guide there insert it there then going up okay to the thread take up lever so if the lever is at a down position you're going to bring it up by turning the balance wheel there okay so you're going to insert the thread here On the whole of the thread take off lever. Then going down again, going down to the next thread guide, slide again the thread there to the next thread guide near the needle clump. Okay, slide again there. And the last thread guide here. Okay, near the needle. So you're going to insert your thread here. There. And the last one now is on the the last one now is on the needle. Now if you cannot see very well the hole of the needle or the eye rather the eye of the needle you may put on the light and one technique so that you can easily thread the needle you're going to cut the thread diagonally there and you're going to insert now this one on the eye of the needle okay so after that we're now ready to bring out or get the need the thread from the bobbin and the bobbin case okay so how you will do that you're going to hold this thread hold the thread and Bring down the needle, okay, to the fullest by turning the balance wheel, okay? So just hold the thread here. So the length of the thread here, it's from 3 to 4 inches, okay? So you bring down the needle by turning the balance wheel. If you are hard up in turning, you may press the clutch, okay, slowly there and just continue turning it until such time you can see now you can see now the thread coming out okay there so you're going to use your scissors okay yeah there you can see now the thread from the lower part okay or from the bobbin this one the blue one so i use the blue thread so that you can easily identify and then you're going to place the two two threads together under the presser foot 
ready for sewing. So that's how you're going to thread the low, the lower and the upper part of the sewing machine. So that's how you're going to wind the bobbin and to thread the upper and the lower part of the sewing machine. If you find my video interesting, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sewing is my life and have fun!